Alicia. Welcome back to Make Sierra Leone Famous. Conversations that explore history, culture, and our identity. With me, your host, Vicky Rameau. You can find previous episodes of our show on www.vickyrameau.com. That's www.vickyremoe.com. And now, make the show begin. My own them, basically, from waiting history to tell we, now being people away being come off from Jamaica, yeah? But before they go to Jamaica, there were people who were largely being come off from the Gold Coast, what is currently in Ghana, and um, then take them into slavery. We're at the Maroon Church, we're just, you know, having this conversation. How long the church on day as national monuments? The church actually became a national monument in 56, I suppose. Okay. Um, and what thing that mean for the church? Like, okay, where the government okay, the national monument, and so? It's a place set aside nationally as um, a relic, and um, I dare say it's um, on the basis of two toy for the talk is not clear. Yes. <laughs> for most part, really, the mm-hmm. um, monument and relic by name. Right. Because the church predominantly is funded by the church activities, and right? Church activities. Okay, you know? okay. Though um, recently it was in 2016, mm-hmm. we've been get some support from the Monument and Relic Commission. Okay, for yeah, do refurbishment. For do some refurbishment. Okay. With specific reference to the roof. Okay. Some rafters on the roof. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. And a few other things. Okay. But otherwise, it's predominantly like self-funded. Not church. Say that. It's because so it's an active church. It's a monument. By name, yeah. to a large it's a living monument or a living yeah. relic. Where, mm-hmm. You know, because I think most of the other monuments in a salon or Freetown, na place there where people are no longer they use, yes. right? So yes. they're kind yes. of like relic and ruins, mm-hmm. right? They just did it. Nobody know they go. Nobody know they tend. But here, it's a living monument. So yes. maybe na make governments on this two yagba for possibly, you know. Right, so this was the church that the Maroons who came as early settlers after the colony was founded mm. built as their place of worship. Yes. Okay. You can tell me a little bit about the Maroons, them as a people, Uda na bin them, and how they manage for Kana, the colony of Freetown. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, the Maroons, them, basically from what history to tell me, na bin people away being come off from Jamaica, mm-hmm. yeah? But before they go to Jamaica, there were people who were largely being come off from the Gold Coast, mm-hmm. what is currently known Ghana. as Ghana, mm-hmm. yeah? And um, then take them into slavery. Then did it for a while, then um, and within the island of Jamaica. But because of the kind people already maroons them in be, I mean, mm-hmm. people already think say they're for rule themselves, mm-hmm. you know? Because that's a Medina Ghana. Yes, yeah, na, 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 yeah. you know, the Ghanaians are like, especially in um, Cape Coastianda, mm-hmm. na, you know, na kings and, you know, kind of, yes, like yes, yes, yes. There yeah. they are um, in fancies. Mm-hmm. In the in the Cape Coast, they are fancies. Okay. And, you know, Ghana na place where you get different kingdoms. You know, people there, now that's they used to. <laughs> Exactly. I used to that, you know? yeah. So I think that, that can be understandable looking mm-hmm. at the, the culture of Usai and Komo and all mm-hmm. of that. What happened, as far as I know, was that like um, they, mean they get a lot of rebellion mm-hmm. against the, um, slave. the British, mm-hmm. yeah? the slave system mm-hmm. more or less. Yeah? And um, then be moved and say from Jamaica, I mean, main township, mm-hmm. and move into the mountains, mm-hmm. yeah? cockpit mountains. Mm-hmm. And um, from there, they mean really they like, Get a lot of them um, tussle with mm-hmm. British slave masters and all of that, and mm-hmm. they, you know. What the history also tell me now the fact that, like, in the rebellion, the British soldiers been really suffer mm-hmm. a lot of setbacks mm-hmm. when they go fed the people in the mountain mm-hmm. because they, they use a lot of guerrilla warfare and all mm-hmm. of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, this report of gone for tell we say at one point they mean take the maroons, yeah. So oh, yes, we promise them, yes, say, Kandong, yes, in account, account. Yes, and all yes, of yes, I think they, so, I remember that. The moment where in Kandong, you know, mainland yes, Jamaica, yes, people call them that, mm-hmm. 
then gather it all and put them in a ship mm -hmm. and deport them to Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from Nova Scotia, I think that was like in 1796 or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. From Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. they mean get for the sky for sending because that came about the same way. The American War for Independence, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then sending come. Now this colony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So una una so you know it's in una they agitate too much na Jamaica. Yeah, we need una wanna una mix with the one way, okay. Where well, because if you have slaves and mm -hmm. um some faction of the slave population they revolt, it inspire more revolts, exactly. right? So for maintain your system of slavery, you for move there, yes, right? you're like you know yeah. it's if you know able beat una yeah, una no go sit on yeah. Exactly. And um you can put on way. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Um, so they came to Sierra Leone and they settled, I guess, with other Nova Scotians Nova Scotia, and other like, Apple, yeah, other settlers. Yes, yeah, other yeah, settlers, yeah. the early settlers of Freetown. And um, waiting na be waiting me lead up to where them then form the church, or how the church been begin? Okay, um, the church as a people as a congregation, mm -hmm. because sorry, let take time. Let's take them back a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah? They actually come at the colony in 1800. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. The freed slaves from Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. the Maroons, mm -hmm. the Black Poor, and other people. So that's settlers, like 200 years Africans, ago, about, yeah. yeah. Okay. They come about 1800. Mm -hmm. yeah? The Maroons specifically come in 1800. Mm -hmm. When they come, they meet um, some. Rebellion. Mm -hmm. uh, I went up with the Nova Scotians in Destiny. Oh, okay, the first, the first the Nova Scotians that we didn't already come. We didn't already there. Okay, okay. They rebel against the 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 the, the British, which you would call the institution of leadership. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, in there. Mm -hmm. So the Maroons came in handy in mm -hmm. Destiny. They're like, that's you know, twist. as for rebellion, we used <laughs> exactly. to. Now we've seen this. <laughs> the, the, the ironic thing is that the Maroons are used for quell the rebellion day. Okay. Yeah? Okay. The Interesting. system as it were. Interesting. They used the Maroon name for quell the rebellion. But we know day. the British and their divide and conquer. Now that's, the, now that's a, again, that's what they're used to. Exactly. You know, so they help for quell the, the rebellion, mm -hmm. you know. And slowly, slowly, then become integrated mm -hmm. into the with the Nova Scotian. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. The church, like I say, as a congregation, started around about 1808. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this structure all this one. It actually came about with the administration Mingir grant mm -hmm. for this land. As in the Freetown um, administration, administration yeah. for the the, the, the settlers. Yes, yes. Grant. Okay, of the colony. Yes. The okay. Colony. Okay. Give a grant. You know, for build a place of worship, actual structure. Okay. Of course, we go no see history. There is a yana being Westmoreland Street back mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So Westmoreland Street between um, Percival and Liverpool Street. Mm -hmm. When are the, this piece and parcel mm -hmm. of land where we still there? Mm -hmm. Then get a grant for build this structure as the worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the Maroon, being skilled craftsmen, mm -hmm. sometimes we forget for say that day, mm -hmm. they were good at masonry mm -hmm. and metal work. Yeah, but it, it makes sense because if you get for survive mm -hmm. na mountain, mm -hmm. you get for no stone work. Possibly because if you're if you don't left outside the flat land in mm -hmm. Jamaica outside and the slavery and the plantation, they go then you don't go up na mountain for go fend cave yeah. this blah blah blah. You get for know how for use tools I because it's so. like you they left. The structured society for go begin like civilization all over oh, inside yeah, and that. So that makes yeah. sense, yeah. So like I was saying, them more or less than these skills, stone mm -hmm. and metal work and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you go see say the structure as it is, mm -hmm. really, if you touch the wall, you go no say actually it's actually stone. Ah, uh, okay, so like then, okay, been, okay, uh, okay, 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 which means and, it's really solid. You know, yeah. Then be land for last. Exactly. <laughs> then be exactly. for last. And I make to a large extent this main chapel, mm -hmm. because over the years we'd also do an extension. Mm -hmm. We're interestingly not quite attached to this main. Right, call, right. Because this is the monument. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. If you just take a look up at the roof, mm -hmm. it's still to tell we say, the roof, the timber, the way they use, mm -hmm. predominantly in the roof. That's okay. the way they pull from the vessel where we come. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah. okay. That's fantastic. And um, some of them pews there as mm -hmm. well. Some mm -hmm. have been refurbished over time. We've yeah, had new but ones some of it are the original. That, yeah. But them pews there, the original one, they will be in there. Mm -hmm. They mix us with they go along because yeah. of you need to, you're not know, able to preserve. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the pews, mm -hmm. the roof predominantly 
that thing they will then take from the sheep. Okay, we we'll begin then. If you turn and look at the pulpit as well, mm -hmm. you know, the pulpit there, mm -hmm. a wood will come off from. Okay, there. let's walk so over to So you got a rich history of thing that we actually come skills, up with that era. Skills, skills. Where we still the tribe and maintain. Okay. Now, as a monument, the importance yeah. for mm -hmm. as much as possible mm -hmm. for retain the originality. Now, that's not a monument, right? Yeah, if we yeah. modernize all tea now, like somebody goes, yeah, I don't want to go make this, I want to make the chair this, I want to make that, this place has always been called. But in terms of like history, where you describe for preserve a history of a structure, where now like an architectural, the design, all team and the building important for preserve the history because now that's not the story. Yes, exactly. A lot of his information, however, that the windows are there. Mm -hmm. Of course, not only kind of window that have been there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was all wooden. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. But over okay. time, the and all of that. Sure. The, you know, of course, these are the little things really that we do. We bring some small modernization. It's okay. been quite a while. Of course, really, of course, of course. We bring small modernization from within the original, original structure building. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. But to a large extent, mm -hmm. most of it, we've been striving to keep it as it were. The talk not done yet, but make we take small music break with the musical sounds of Sierra Leone. Next music. Mm -hmm. Woke up this morning to the sound of children playing on the streets, calling to each other, no kaeto, no kaeto. Step out of my door, see this woman they sell, it is called, say, you don't buy you cherry, you don't buy you cherry, well, that's the sound of my city, free tongue city, every part of my city, every part that I am. was Donnie Major with Freetown City, released in October 2018. Donnie attended the Sierra Leone Grammar School where his musical journey began. And now, make we go back to make Sierra Leone famous. When I get any um, parishioners their way and are still descendants of Maroons, you go say? I guess. When they keep log, like, you know, like you, you in slavery days, then be always they keep log family name. Like the, the, mm. the early settlers there, mm. like you will come on at the boat, when I almost wake come, mm. waiting at your name, you'll be married, you get picking, you age where you come, and all of that. Mm. Um, and I shall say, if this was the place of worship for 200 years, for some family, then at this not a family church, yes. right? Yeah. So when I still get people away, they worship now, so we want to go say now original um, Maroons, if like there are families that people know that these families are like I guess Maroon so. descendants. I guess so. mm -hmm. It's not like really, um, we're not getting methodical okay. log as I know, okay. as I know as okay. of now, yeah? Mm -hmm. But like, me say for the so, mm -hmm. I know say me grandpa mm -hmm. on the maternal side, mm -hmm. me and my papa, mm -hmm. Your own papa being come up from West Indies. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So okay. we then can't see them. Okay, can get an okay. Idea of yes, who came yes. And we don't hear it, but who of that? Like yeah. some people then can even say, like, you know, we na we na descendants of I don't hear people in a salon don't talk, say they na they own West Indies, then get like even Native American um uh, lineage. Yes, yeah. lineage because the Maroons them and because Jamaica been get um 
what's, what's in, I guess Franco will say Indian, yeah. American Indian, mm -hmm. um, all of Latin America and Northern America and the Caribbean, now then I mean they own indigenous people. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so even if you go to Jamaica today, the current population are you a mixture of Africans, exactly. um, American Indians, whites, and now of course now you have where you know Jamaica become a more formal um, kind of part of the British Empire, then you even have Indians from um, India who are also, and even Chinese people like me. Where I go college, Wami Padi in last, a black past me, oh, but where you ask her in last name, a name na Ho Shing, na Jamaica in family come out because in Gampa or in Great Gampa na being Chinese man where the British then pull come out China. For cow walk na Jamaica, where they don't they do not intermarry, intermarry, intermarry. So, but the name still left. You get Chinese name, mm -hmm. but in skin black. Now, just like right. part of like the fascination of Jamaican culture and history. It's a blend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, I think say part of what they can talk about now, like how now South Africa can say Rainbow Nation, and so Jamaicans themselves consider themselves I this like so. very yeah. mixed, yeah. Uh, mixed culture. Um, what thing you think is very important right now for the church in? I don't know, I guess in, in not just survival, but like, well, yeah, survival into the future. Like, what are the most important things that we, for Una, as a church, as the Maroon Church, as the oldest church in Freetown Urban, what are the key things that we, Una, Una, you're always like, these are the things we must preserve in order to keep the history and keep the stories? Okay. Um, first of all, you know, um, the Maroons and a lot of other settlers, mm -hmm. you know, that they metamorphose into it with the call Creo to the Creo. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. So I guess say we can say the um, the attributes, mm -hmm. the traits, mm -hmm. the mannerisms mm -hmm. of the Creole as a people. Okay, okay. It's something we we, we they bind to strongly. Right. You know right. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because um, all of that mix we mm -hmm. can set to now eighteen hundred and after. Mm -hmm. Now all really comes yes, back together creep. and all of that. Yeah. Right. And a few unique things there about the Maroon specifically. Mm -hmm. We um help for art to Creo identity. Co the Creo okay, culture, okay. Yeah. Think there were a member from waiting we on East we tell we. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that um you know this stone masonry. Mm -hmm. yeah? From eighteen hundred the Nova Scotians then are the car with wooden structures. And they call the bodos. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The maroons now then come and begin to change that one this small, small to stone, stone architecture, metal okay. work, and all okay. of that. Okay. Okay. So okay. from 1800 downwards, mm -hmm. you begin to see small, small changes. Okay, in the architecture, sure. They add to bodos. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. it, it's mm -hmm. also beautiful because yes, um, you yes. get that kind of diversity yes, you know, of cultures yes. and all of that. Mm -hmm. But then I mean, one thing in the architecture where things say up to today, mm -hmm. it only change and modernize to something else. Mm -hmm. There's one, one other very important thing. You know this is still what they call Gumbe. Mm -hmm. Understanding that the Maroons in Grand Camp. Ah, because they get carnival in the Caribbean as well. You know that music, Gumbe? The, the teen, that, 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 um, exactly. teen with yeah. that syndrome. Mm -hmm. Because all across the Caribbean, they get a... Um, it's a very big thing, the yeah. teen, I don't, I don't forget how they call them, but it's like a teen drum yeah. where then they beat yeah. for, for Gumbe and Carnival, mm -hmm. and like it's a totally different culture yeah. um, on its own, exactly. completely different, exactly. interesting. But well, you agree with me, say like in current day, well, mm -hmm. not so current because mm -hmm. unfortunately we even move away small, small from 1990, yeah. so unfortunately. I do, I do feel... Yeah, I do think that Creole culture is is receding, and I think a huge part of that. I think we can talk about Creole culture before the war, mm -hmm. and Creole culture okay. after the war. Yeah. Um, I think you know, growing up here, I still I remember Gumbe. I remember me that even they go hunting. Like I remember Boku 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 I remember we been to go fly kites for Easter. All of that. I remember Boku 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 Tinde where I think say. Na creole thing then to me, uh, we part of like okay if you tap na free tongue, na then kind thing they so na they make. I remember the caroling. I remember um, the you know just like kids in the streets for beating Judas. All of these things that I feel like are very like creole Christian creole culture history mm -hmm. that were part of Freetown life that do not exist anymore. You know mm -hmm. and but I also think that 
any ten now we had I the Yegi but they happen it also connected to a church. Yeah. You know, for example, I, I feel like lunch on sales used to be a very common thing in yeah. Freetown. Yeah. But now I the lunch on sale or in a church now they make lunch on sale. But even when I mean they go to school, primary school, we school me they make lunch on sale. Oh my mean they make <laughs> lunch on sale. So no, um I definitely think that maybe one of the sad things for Creole culture in Freetown is that once the war came and I think a lot of Creoles also left Sierra Leone after the war or during the war that did not return again. Possibly. And those who might have already been out and had plans to return did not return and have not returned, which is why um, you know the Creole Descendants Union. Anytime we didn't get events, at least we meet in America, we didn't make events. Thank you, Moku. And you're like, who signed Creole people? Then come on, yes, we don't get some, we don't get some, we don't get some. Yes, yes, the Creole and I'll go back and the new world. No, because no, seriously, where I, where, where I can see them, Boku. Them mommy, then they're all with them princesses yeah. and them Pekin and then Grand Pekin. And I'm like, you know, it's like the whole, I guess those who are very, very well off, they're all the Creole and Ongo, they're, they're now, they're like, you know, and so we ancestors, they mean, come out. No, we can. <laughs> no, we can. I also feel the same about the UK, especially in the UK. I feel like they have a huge Creole population. If you're not equal, Seth, the free tone population in Nia. Um, but I definitely think that what makes Sierra Leone really interesting and unique, a huge part of it is also what the Creole, the Creoles brought to Freetown and what has emerged from them living here. Um, I mean, they've given us our lingua franca, if nothing else. <laughs> Without the Creole language, um, Sierra Leoneans would not have a language to communicate. I mean, of course, religion right because the creoles most of them came already converted mm -hmm. yeah. right yeah. and so the early missionaries christian missionaries yes you know white people can't come but then they also you know sierra leonean missionaries creole missionaries you know went to nigeria and went to ghana and went to the provinces just to kind of like spread Spreading. and with them they also took with them education um being that for bay college is here as well so no i think that creole culture um, requires lots of lots of praise and 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 um, preservation yes. uh, because it teaches us a lot about just what people can do when they come together, mm -hmm. right? Because if the Maroons and the Wiscations are not come together to make life and settle in free time, it wouldn't be where it is today. Mm -hmm. Tell me what a regular service is like for, like, you know, what is a Maroon church service? Do you guys do things like every other church, or are there things that are like specifically you would say, um, is there anything in this church that you're like, this is something you can only find in the Maroon Church? Well, as of now really, mm -hmm. the church services, you know, insofar as we don't match with the, method, the Methodist yes, church service. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The dictates are by the um, right. orders okay, okay, of the MCSL. The, okay, sure, you know? sure, Methodist church. So sure. you're not going to get them and unique it's... differentials mm -hmm, there anymore. Mm -hmm. But I guess at one time it was true. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure. the Maroons were an independent people. Mm -hmm. We were getting a way of doing things mm -hmm. and all of that. I guess back, back in the days it was a mixture of African worship, yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, the European and all of yeah, that. yeah. But over time, of course, yeah. they them them Methodist, eh? totally me, me papa na Methodist, so I know say Methodist church, you kind know, it's like different, you know, like. But the only thing, though, <laughs> uh -huh. I think, say, in Maroon, we not get too much of the stiffness, okay, because it is like a family church, mm -hmm. right? Of course, by the common fact that like uh, the membership not so large. Mm -hmm. I think in the best of times, we're still under two hundred. Okay, yeah. okay. And by 200, I mean adults and children. children and everybody, and right, 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 right. As far as I remember, mm -hmm. I think Seda and Demekle is still, we still get to a large extent of familial value. Okay, like people are connected. Know, yes, know, yes, yes, yes. Papa, me, Sabi, Papa, then kind of So you know Seda and Demekle, it can help small. You're not strangers, you're not strangers. Some church, the way you go just go, you say, this pew is my pew, it's my pew. And sit down there, nobody else not a user. You know, yes, we're not yes. gonna cancel it. Okay, anyway. okay, okay. Nobody yeah. not get special place. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. okay, yeah. okay, fantastic. Yeah. Are you Make Sierra Leone Famous? The podcast is mixed and mastered by producer 
Frank Vin, Bob McEwen, with support from the creative and talented team over at VRNC Marketing Company in Freetown. And now, make we go back to make Sierra Leone famous. Are you, um, do you have any old Bibles or any kind of things that have been preserved in the church from when it first opened 200 years ago, besides the chairs and the pews? What would you say is the oldest thing in the church? Certainly, I would say the rafters. Okay. Rafters. You know, like I've been mm -hmm. mentioned before, mm -hmm. then Tia come up from the sheep. Wow. So it's as old as the church itself. Wow. You know? Okay. It does look like a boat. Yes. It know. really does it's look like time. the yes. It really does yeah. look like you know when you think about like old movies like for example the Amistad, mm -hmm. um, these boats that are about slavery. Exactly. This actually looks very much like um, what you'd see. see like yeah, and then these. This is interesting too. So I, these metal these metal you metal added. Poles, they are add -ons. Okay, add ons. Okay, 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 okay. Because we're happy, just yeah. to give you the gift of why we never put them poles down. Mm -hmm. This um, entire way hold the roof, mm -hmm. you know? The beams. At a point. Mm -hmm. The minon kiri kandon. Yes. So we the sag, we've been get for do corrective action. Of course, of course, we'll keep them up. The beams. On, yes. On, um, sure, it makes sense. Really it makes sense. Advice. Yeah. Of putting metals. No, no, it makes there. sense. It makes sense. Then outside, mm -hmm. on the outer walls, we, enforce. we also reinforce them. Fantastic. Yeah? Fantastic. So, not only make like the see. Okay. So stuff there. We also get the um, pulpit. Okay. Where you see the wood, you know, saying yes, 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 yeah? yes, yes, yes. We get this altar table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I have to lift the covers. You know? Ah, okay, that must have been carved. Exactly, you know? So these are what you would call antiques. Okay, and know? it says bread and cup. So yeah. this is for Holy Communion. This is it. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. So these are little things that I remember because myself really not to such an old man. Oh, I have... But I take, <laughs> I take so much interest in I take you what? Culture. If you say you know to old man, I take you what? I take you what? That's the reality. Word. I take you what? So I saw over there, there's a very old... Um, tablet. Tablet. Stone, yeah. um, this one is interesting. It's very interesting because it says... This one sure, please do. another one on the Sure, right. please yeah. do. This is outside we organ mean they first of all. Okay, the original organ, okay. But um larger like history information, that's an aside. Uh-huh. We actually don't bring in a new organ. Okay. We'll be in for um dedicate. Mm -hmm. Sunday the twenty. Ah, but corona. Exactly. <laughs> Sunday, okay, okay. We keep church. Okay, yeah, so okay. We would have had ordinarily if yeah. things had been equal, mm -hmm. we would have had this space with for the, the new, new organ. organ okay, it will come. Corona yeah, no, will come. go. No, I mean, yeah, it will sure, come to the church. To corona, we will return. Fine. We will yeah. return. Yeah. Now back to the tablet. Okay. Charles Shohadi. Mm -hmm. You know, there be one name with quite prominent. And the Ababa, then, so to speak. Of the Maroons. Then, from that point oh, we mean, to Okay. Point. Okay. Yeah. And in name day as one party people are being really instrumental where they did this church and Okay, and okay, yeah. okay. Boy died. Very died, young, forty five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. Not too long after the church opened. Again? Not too long after this church was opened, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know? Now being the superintendent mm -hmm. of St. John's Maroon Church. Okay. You know? So it was what you would call in Yeah. Nowadays like the probably the Senior society steward, okay. who is like the um, what you would call the 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 biggest person mm -hmm. in the deity. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, they do um, ministerial something there as well. Okay. The okay. 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 But it was such a prominent figure. Okay. You see, you sign tablet this. Yes. No. You see, say no. Now important person. Yeah. yeah. No, it so makes sense. There's another one. Okay. On the extreme right. That's 1829. You know, really yeah. Wow. You'll be a little obscure because no, we'll no add worries. some of them modern. No, no worries. Where they call stuff, Beneath so. rests the mortal remains of uh -huh. Reverend William. William Roland Peck, Wesleyan missionary, native now it's man, yeah, sure. Wesleyan native of England, who died in joyful hope of eternal life, affectionately beloved and deeply regretted by distant parents and friends. Ooh. July 3rd, 1829, aged 23 years. 
This like na them, this na them with man the way they can they not be able to fit on because mm. I be way all till we can eat from his skin and for say where the early settlers they mean can fit on be really rough for them. Yes. Because as we free to see, they still off for we. Mm -hmm. But imagine without all the modernization exactly. that way we get right now for can begin build old span this kind and say if you can't really seize him back, yes. you know, play school. Like it's a lot. I mean I say like Boku Malaya. Yeah, Malaya. And then then we all way even travel by boat, it'd be easy for the people to catch disease mm -hmm. on the boat. So sometimes you don't catch on a boat as you can now. Possibly. You pass Possibly. on. But this guy, this gentleman died, mm -hmm. you will notice and for just seven years. Uh -huh. After the, the yeah, 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 and yeah, and it's it's mortal remains. Yeah, na yeah, it is. Interesting that yes. them when I get yeah. the body inside on a church. At least on ten, on na the only church we get the body pan the building. Well, possibly. Maybe. <laughs> so on a regular on a regular Sunday, mm -hmm. I'm guessing not all two hundred people show up. How many people do? It, it ranges. I'm guessing for holidays, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. On a regular Sunday when you're in church, how many parishioners do you have? Let's take an average of like. A Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's but, good. Um, that would be. Um, I wouldn't say predominantly, but fairly um, consisting of children as well. Okay, so you people know? send their children to church even if yes. they can't come to church yes. because Absolutely. they want them to have the word. It makes sense. It makes sense. Also, Sierra Leone is a very young country. 65% mm -hmm. of our population is under the age of 35. So it makes sense that when you come to church, it's mostly young people because now we boku. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been quite an education. Well, now you don't so for today on edition of Make Sierra Leone Famous with me, your host, Vicky Ramo. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen. Ta-ta.